Oriel, keep me safe. Oriel, keep me strong. Adept, very glad to see you again. I've translated the final book and we're ready to monkey rum butter. No, I'm... I'm just very tired. Thanks to Shalador, we were able to decipher the deeper ritual hidden within the tomes as a set. He's ready and waiting. Together you'll perform the ritual that will... <laughs> perform like a dancing midget. Just focus on the task at hand. I've prepared the ritual space as you can see. Here are the books. Take them and place them on the pillars of light around the hall. They'll focus the power of the books for the Archmage. I'll be able to rest soon enough, Adept. Shalador is the only reason I was able to finish. His enthusiasm and energy sustained me through this difficult trial. Please, Adept, I'm going to be fine. As I said, translation of the books has taken a considerable toll. I'm exhausted, but it will be worth it. The Sanctuary will save so many lives and give us all a chance to work in peace. and swell of magicka. How I miss this. We've done it. We're finally ready to take back my island. I'll use the combined powers of the books and wrench the isle back to Tamriel. Sheogorath has lost, Adept. We're almost there. It's a lush place, gorgeous and vibrant. We have guild members poised across Tamriel, ready to join us there. It will be the perfect place for the guild to study in peace. It will be glorious. I... I know. She's very tired, even worse than before. But she's done masterful work in translating these books. And I'm sure she'll be an asset once we reach the island. She'll have plenty of time to rest soon enough. I suppose she has been garbling her words a bit. I just assumed that it was due to mortal frailty. I sometimes forget how fragile you are. We will watch over her together, my friend. I believe so. I'm sure you're as sick of the Mad God's games as I am. Now come, I will perform the ritual and open a portal to our new home. Gomes, attend me! I reclaim what was taken from me. I, Vea, hear my call! Something is wrong. I sense. Adept, the lost, follow me! I'll be right behind you, don't worry. Damn me for a fool! Why did I trust that madman? What do I mean? Look at this place! The island is overrun with Daedra. Sheogorath has given us the apple, but it's riddled with worms. There's a grand hall in the center of the island. We'll be able to survey the situation better from that vantage point. You and Velast make your way up this path. I'll meet you there. He left us. Why did he leave us? Let's go, let's go! Can't keep the Archmage waiting! Fascinating. 
Devastating creatures, Deirdre. the chance to study one of those up here. <laughs> Just spotted another way varieties of Daedra is wrong. To Mad God, leave this place. Careful, mage. Remember who you're talking to. Hmm. Our mortal friend has arrived. Be quiet now, Shally. Adults talking. Ah, good. You and I can have reasonable conversations. Shalador is just too old and crotchety for me. Do you know, funny thing about deals. They're really the sorts of things you should get in writing. I said if you completed the trials, you could find the island. The portals to deepest oblivion scattered here and there. A sort of bonus. If you want to see it that way, sure. It's another trial. I'm sure you and Velast... Oh, hello, dearie. I'm sure you'll have no problems closing the portals. Honestly, I'm surprised the mistress of Incunabula didn't see this coming. No reason at all. What are you implying? That my choice to curse the books was a calculated move? That crazy old Shea Gorath knew there were only a handful of people in the guild that could do the work she did? Oh. Madness. Oh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You outwitted daffy old Shea Gorath, right? Anyway, pull the crystals to close the portals. Have fun. See you soon. Damn it! What was I thinking? Attacking the Prince of Madness! Wait, Adept. You're not making sense. What do you mean? Sheogorath put that curse on those books to slow us down. Make the task more time-consuming. Then, the curse was meant to put the books in front of the Lost. She was meant to read them. Adept, this is very worrying. But we need to deal with this after the island is safe. She'll be with you. She'll be fine for the moment. The Lost, go with our friend here to close the portals. The Adept will keep you safe. Sheogorath left a powerful ward on this building. I'll need a few moments to crack it open. Go! I should be done here by the time you return. Go! Close the portals! I will see this done! I can do this, Adept. I'm ready to do what must be done.
Well, that was exhausting. No more. All closed? Good. Now place the crystals and the barrier should fade. Little ducklings all in a row. Red bill, green bill, yellow bill, too. Thanks to you, the island is ours. Now you'll just need to claim the hall and kick Shale Gorath back to the Shivering Isles. I've put a crack in his ward, but no more. The Mad God's power is formidable. Even here, you and Velast may enter. I may not. Just make sure to watch after her. I can see the state she's in. I fear the Mad God may have gotten the better of us. But perhaps something can be done. Go inside. Deal with Shea Gorath. We've come too far to be put off by his tricks now. You can do this, Adept. You've proven yourself that you're up to this. Good luck. I can hear him. I'm coming, Uncle Shale.
How did the butterflies get inside my head? They're swirling around my words and drinking my mind, honey. Ah, my favorite mortal. Shalidor finally figured out how to let you in. You're here to kick me out, I know. But you know, fighting isn't really my thing. Haskell? Very good, sir. <clears throat> Have at you, adept. We will now face each other in honorable combat. On your guard. Are you going to relinquish the island to us or not? All right, all right, settle down. I just gather me things and go. Blast! Deary, why don't you come over here? Uncle Shale, are we going somewhere? Yes, little one. You're coming with me. Home to the Shivering Isles. Won't that be nice? Mad God, stay back. The lost isn't yours to take. Isn't she, though? I can see it on her face. I can smell it in the air. She's crazy. Mad. A lunatic. <laughs> All that time with Uncle Shield stories, and she's got the urge to visit the Isles. My shivering Isles. <laughs> I do. I want to go with Uncle Shao. He's got the butterflies. I love butterflies. Hmm. This is a conundrum. A riddle. A um, choice. I tell you what, mortal. Why don't we let you decide? Should Velas stay? Or come with me to the dear old Isles? In fact, let's sweeten the deal. You decide she stays. I'll cure her. That's right. Uncle Shao will make her sane again. Boring old Velast, whose only friends are books. Oh dear. And if the adept decides she goes with you? Well, as it happens, I have one more book here. I give it to you in exchange for Velast. It's called The Folium Discognitum. Shale Gorath, you bastard! You throw the folium back in my face after all these years! Wrote it myself. It's a delightful little artifact. It imbues the reader with the knowledge of madmen. <laughs> it's very powerful. Worth, oh, four or five of those sky shard things you adventurers are always looking for. So, the last days and I cure her. Or, she goes with me and you, my little mortal become much more powerful. Your choice. Help me, please. Uncle Shea wants to take me to the Shivering Isles. So wonderful. The butterflies, they'll be everywhere. And he has so many books. But Uncle Shao, he will keep me warm and he will keep me safe and I'll have so many friends to play with. Books are my friends, did you know? Adept, if I stay, if I stay, I don't know if... But perhaps with him, I'll be happy. Happy like the butterflies, they flap. Flap, flap their wings! Adept, you cannot listen to this offer. This is the exact same offer Shea Gorath made me when I first lost Ivea. Life for an archmage is measured in decades, not years. The rituals I performed extended my life, allowed me to continue my work. But eventually even I began to slow down. I began work on a powerful artifact, a key to the inner workings of life itself. Glamoril. But that's neither here nor there. 
The point is, I reached a critical juncture where even my knowledge and power failed me. I needed more. Yes, I'd read all of the Accords of Madness. I knew the lessons of King Lyrandir, Leopold Arseno, Darius Shano, and still I failed. Don't make the mistakes we did, Adept. Reject this madman's offer! Admitted! You're surprised, aren't you? Ah, the look on your face was precious! Of course, of course! What can I tell you? Just so you know, as you talk, I'm going to imagine there's a little person inside you, moving your mouth like a puppet. It helps keep me interested! <laughs> no catch, mortal! Not this time. Look, no matter what choice you make, Shalador's always going to know I got inside his head. Again. That's what I'm trading you the island for. This? This is just something between the two of us. Well, see if you sit a madman down and listen to him ramble, he'll sometimes spout the most brilliant insights. I don't know if you know this, but I spend a lot of time around madmen. Aye, and there's some right insightful insights there. You read through my folium and, oh, like I said, worth the power and zip of half a dozen sky shards. Easy. You've got it. No strings, no lingering magical afflictions, no nightmare beasties haunting her in her dreams. Ooh, that's always fun. But no, 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 no. I'll undo what my books did to her. Fair and square. If. You deny the folium. Oh, I'll be honest, mortal. I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> Your struggle to collect the books, getting to poke Shalidar with a stick. Oh, 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 oh. Do you remember the time I had you close all those portals on Ivea? <laughs> ah, good times. Right. A mortal making a decision! Free will and agency! Now then, does the last stay? Become sane again and live her life out here? Or does she go with me and you receive the power of the folium discognitum? Which will it be? Ha! I knew you wouldn't take the book! Could see it in your eyes. Oh well, can't blame Uncle Sheo for wanting to give his favorite niece a good home now! <laughs> As you wish, mortal, I'll undo what's been done to her. The mortal's decided to let the last stay. So, this is where I say my goodbyes. Mortal, nice working with you. Shalidor? Never change. The last? Sorry, dear. Say goodbye to the little dreamily. The Prince of Madness doesn't stay where he's not wanted. <laughs> Except when he does. But in this case, he doesn't. Until next time, Mageling! It's like... It's like a fog has lifted from inside my mind. Adept, I don't know what to say. You've saved me from a fate worse than death. The Lost, are you? Yes, I'm all right, Shalador. I'm myself again. Don't worry, Adept. I'll be fine soon enough. Now that you've restored my mind, I just need some rest. You've passed the challenges of the Mad God restored me to sanity and reclaimed this sanctuary for the Mage's Guild. Somehow my thanks seem small in comparison, but you have them. Thank you, Adept, for all you've done. I can't stay in here, Adept. Let us speak some more outside. Come here, Adept. I have something for you. Adept. You've done so much for the guild. I couldn't let you leave without a final gift. This old archmage has a spell he's been saving just for you. During my time on Tamriel, 
I developed a very useful spell. A memory charm of sorts. Rather than wasting my time puttering around in libraries trying to find a book, the spell allows me to recall it instantly. If you'll allow me. Just need a moment to prepare. This spell has proven very handy. Once saved my life and I came up against a rhyming spirit. She demanded every answer to her questions be answered with a couplet. There we go. I'm ready. Call it Shalador's Library of the Mind. Shores, <laughs> bones, I can't thank you enough. In time, the body you and Velast have formed for me will fade. But with this charm, you'll never forget our trials together. I take comfort in that. Are you ready? Then accept the gift of eidetic memory. Remember now every tome, every book, every scrap of paper you have ever read. And remember too, the tale of Iveus' return to Tamriel, and the story of the adept who made it happen. Don't be a stranger, adept. Ivea is another home for you now, as it is for every mage in Tamriel. Good luck, my friend. Wherever your travels take you next, know that you have all of the guild at your back. The system of inter-evocative hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was first developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower. I've got all manner of guild goods here readily available, especially to one such as you. Bit of a forward question, isn't that? Yes, yes, I'm a spirit pulled from my body after an altercation with a Khajiiti moon priest. Don't worry, it's only temporary. I'm sure we'll figure out a way to get me back home very soon. Centralized, readily accessible, and above all, neutral port for every nation in Tamriel. Research aside, the trading opportunities here are amazing. High King Emmerich knows well how to play the diplomat. While officially he's been neutral on the topic of Ivea, he's privately been highly supportive. He knows Guildmaster Vanus values his friendship. Ha! <laughs> Old Vanus has been around so long, he knows pretty well everyone. Iren, Emric, 
Even crusty old Yorin owe him favors. I guess that's what comes from living the better part of 600 years. I've heard the whispers, seen the looks. Something us Nords are a poor fit for magic. I say clearly someone has to keep the rest of these fools in line. <laughs> ah, Adept. This morning I got into an argument with one of those shorty elves. He was arguing that magic is the most efficient solution to any problem. So I punched him in the face. We're going for drinks later. I like this place. Jaws bones, no. I've met more non-lords in my time here than in my whole life in the holds. But that's how it should be. Spells and research, law and learning binding the guild together. Ah, a civilized magical society. I've put so many faces to names I've only seen in letters. It would be nice to speak frankly about our craft. And not be the town seer. It's a relief to study without the constant demands of the Covenant military. I could not care less about Cyrodiil and Emmerich's damned war. Ah, Wayfarer. Ivea is like a dream come true. Especially the tradescraft. It's so easy to gather spell components. Do you have any idea how expensive it is to import frost herbs through to Alakir Desert? Oh, you have no idea. The cool breezes, the soft petals, and above all, to be among other mages. To have you all understand, it's amazing at it. Thank you. The Crowns have been pushing King Faharajad. They seek to ban any guild member that studies in Ivea from working with the military. It's just as well if you ask me. Smell that air, so far from Valenwood and yet so clean. <laughs> 